You're listening to Mid-Atlantic Gravel, Travel, and Dirt. Hello, everybody. I'm Brian. I'm Joey. And I'm Jess. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Jess, not Wes? Jess, not Wes. <laughs> I know they sound alike. I am <laughs> very excited to welcome Jess Woo. to the podcast yeah. tonight. I've been trying. Every time we come in here, I'm mm-hmm. like, come on, come on, come on. She's in the background yelling. Yep. She's screaming about well, something. Well, usually I'm, I'm asleep because it's school time, but yeah. not today. Nice. This Let's teacher's on break. Wes is in Michigan. Doing Michigan but, things. Yeah, he'd draw on to come on and sure. Brian nice. didn't oppose it. Oh, hell no. He might after he edits it. But. <laughs> no, no, this is going to be great. Yeah. I'm yeah, excited. We, yeah. I'm, I am super excited to have a female voice on Woo-hoo. the podcast. Finally. As long as she uses the mic right. Yeah. Because then we'll She's already doing better than Wes. Yeah. She's talking straight into it. (laughs) I'm just keeping my nose on this little ledge thing so I know exactly (laughs) where the distance from my mouth the mic is. You like in the first two minutes have better better podcast form than mic form. I'm also not looking left or right. So I don't want to like move it because when I look at you, then my voice would change because I'm looking at a different way. It's all about sound quality. Exactly. Absolutely exactly. beautiful. Well, All this right. is this is a podcast where we talk about gravel bikes, gravel cycling, um, Jess's ability to use a mic, bike packing, bike camping, bike touring, and lots of other things bike related. Before we get started, got a little bit of house cleaning. Want to welcome a new Patreon patron, Micro, Michael. Micro. Oh man, 12, how many minutes 12, did I get? 12. How many minutes did I get today? <laughs> and I messed up somebody's name. I am so sorry, Michael from Charlotte. North Carolina. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Very much appreciate your support, Michael. And a sticker pack will be coming to you probably in the next, what, four to six months? I need to get that stationary. (laughs) No. Yeah. Well, I said last week I'd take over for Wes. Speaking Um, of stickers, I got a whole envelope full of stickers in the mail from the guys over at Bad Idea Rides. Yep. And super cool. I'm going to put a picture of them on Instagram. I meant to bring them tonight and I forgot them. My bad. Um, but they're super cool, and they sent a whole That's crap awesome. ton of stickers. So we're gonna have to stick those on a bike. I do have a, I have a lot of days off over the holidays. So okay. one of those days, we'll sit down and uh, hash out all the handwritten notes. Nice. I so. have very good penmanship. Oh yeah, because I'm an early childhood educator. Jess, not Wes. <laughs> Jess, not. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Jess, not Wes. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not as weird when we cuddle in bed together. <laughs> <laughs> when it's Jess, not Wes. <laughs> oh, okay, I got no t-shirt sales this week. Um, please, everybody, buy a t-shirt because there are a lot of them in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get them gone. Um, and I throw stickers in the package, and they come in the mail to you magically. And I'm very good about shipping stuff. You are. You're fast. You're like, Because I've got a whole system set up. The t-shirts are already bundled up, ready to go. That's awesome. Grab it. Stuff it throw some stickers in, weigh it to make sure my postage is right. I buy the postage online and drop it right off at the post office. Boom. Like butter. I'm thinking about expanding though. Yeah. You know, because we have sold like 22 Uh t-shirts or 23 or 24 or something like that. So I'm thinking now's the time to go big. Now's the time to like maybe buy a warehouse. Oh, yeah. Take over. You like, have one. Go like it's truth. <laughs> go Amazon style. Oh. And Ooh, like, we'll get our own Sprinter too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, yeah. Just, we'll cut out the middleman. We'll do our own delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Our sp- own Sprinter van. We'll have instead of Amazon Prime delivery van, it'll be GTD Prime. <laughs> oh, nice. Like, I think I'm excited about that. Or option B is we just continue to do things the way we've been doing. Uh. Um, maybe I'll, option B. I think the funniest part of last week's podcast was when Jerry told people to get on their bikes more on their trainers so that they can whittle into a small. Because <laughs> I hear that there's lots of smalls left. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did. I probably bought a lot of smalls, and there's a lot. Of, I bought. I way overbought. I had no idea what to buy. Um, and they're they are kind of small. Jess, you need so. to buy a small. I, you got it. Well, she doesn't buy one. You get one. Woo-hoo. Okay, celebrating our one-year anniversary. Now, this is big news. We've been talking about this for a while. We are going to open our jersey store. Yes, yeah. super we, pumped to see that. We're it, doing it in two steps. Super pumped. Right. So, first and foremost, the store is going to only be open for three total weeks. Yes. Okay. The first week, the store is going to be only available to our Patreon patrons. 
Yes. And the jerseys will be discounted for that one week. So we're kind of limited by the technology because we're not doing this through our own store because we're not fronting to buy the jerseys. Yeah. Um, Logistics are better. Right. And easier, and they're going to get dropped Everyone shipped wins. directly. So yep. the store is going to be available for patrons for one week, and the jerseys will be discounted during that period. Correct. At the end of that one week, they go back to full price, and that's going to be the full price for anyone that didn't get them. During the first week, that's a patron, so make sure you sh- jump on it. Then the store is only going to be open for two weeks at full price. Yes. So if I quote my best friend, my friend Wesley here, you're basically losing money if mm-hmm. you're not being a patron. That, that's true. Right? So it's true. Yeah. You're losing money. And as a part of the one-year anniversary, you have the ability to win an entry to unpaid. There you go. Two, Thank you, Dave. One special. Two for one. So, I mean, the deals just keep, the hits keep on coming to become yeah. a Patreon patron. So, Do you guys have pictures of the jersey anywhere? Uh, they will get posted probably Thursday night. Cool. Thursday cool. night. I would say. So when Philip do you think- told me, um, God, I don't want to say too much online, on the air, but I think, so this is actually coming out Thursday, day after Christmas. Yes. We'll actually be riding during this episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, but I'm hoping, uh, Philip told me about, about Friday night, he would have the whole store ready. Cool. Okay. And so, where's Philip from? Philip is from Charlottesville, North uh, uh, Virginia. <laughs> and the jersey company is Cutaway. Cutaway Jerseys. Yeah, I think it's a bit, it's a Mid Atlantic company mm-hmm. supporting a Mid Atlantic podcast. There you go. Keeping everything local. Yeah, close to home. You know, and uh, Philip's also a ginger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we met Philip <laughs> yeah. at the Philly Bike Philip's Expo. Cool. Philip's a little quiet and looks it's like Philip. He's he's really nice. He's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, real close working with Matt Hawkins at Ridge Supplies. So oh, cool. Stay tuned. Oh, we should. I need to message Matt. I know he just had a kid. Mm-hmm. But it'd be cool to pair up a pair of socks yeah, at some point in time before yeah. the jerseys get all the way out. Yeah. Yeah. Like to your house. They almost did our wedding favors, Ridge yeah, Supply. We almost did. And speaking of yeah. Matt over at Ridge Supply, congratulations yes. on the birth of your bouncing baby boy. Papa. That's o- awesome. Oak Tweed. Yes. Aww. Is the young'un's name. I think it's a super like cool it. name. Yeah. That is a cool name. It's strong. There is no more Jimmys and Johns anymore. No, but that's the okay. The names are cool. Like, I like kids' names nowadays. So yeah, it's, I like it. It's I like fun. it. I think it's, it's different. Um, um, and also, don't forget that on our one year anniversary, cool. which is next week, can you believe it? We're re- recording exciting. that next week. Um, that we will also be announcing the the date for the 2020 unpaved of the Susquehanna River Valley. Right now, it's called the undated. <laughs> the undated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of like you in high school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jerry went on a date and then his car blew up. Really? Yeah. He went on one date in high school? One date in high school. If you want to hear that story, go on a ride with me. (laughs) They they call it the Ford Exploder for reasons. (laughs) Um, Only one week left to jump onto the Patreon patron team to get yourselves in the mix for that. And also, don't forget, we are giving away a Saris MTR two-bike rack to celebrate our one-year anniversary. You can find out more about that amazing rack with a link in the show notes. No purchase necessary to win. Now this, I can't reiterate this enough. You need to follow both our Instagram and the Sarah's Instagram at the time of the winner selection. You'll also need to fill out a form on our website and make sure your email is correct as the winner will be notified via email. And sorry, but the giveaway is open to US residents only. And I cannot believe that we are still getting entries of people that I look at their Instagram and they don't follow any of it. Any of the things, they're, 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 they can't read rules. They're there right there. So a lot of my family members in Jersey were yeah. like, I need to create an Instagram. Yeah, my because... one brother-in-law yes. who rides regularly needs yep. a rack yep. like this. Might there create an Instagram just for this. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And uh, I was talking to Katie over at Sarah's just earlier today. Yeah. And we're getting some good numbers That's on awesome. the entries. So they're pretty psyched at uh, Sarah's, giving them a lot of good exposure for the rack. Um, and it is an amazing rack. It will be my next bike rack. I've had it on my truck for, well, like Sarah I said, all year. I, I, I'm going to tell you what, it's nice. We have a nice four bike on the back of our Subaru. Right yeah, now. right now mm-hmm. we do. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. It's a little heavy. On the so, back of my but, Subaru. Just just to be fair. It is her Subaru, but we are a couple <laughs> married. He did say our. That's true. That's true. I and always I think of us as a pair. I do always borrow his um, grass sweatshirts because they're super, the ones you guys got in the mail. You should get Wes's. Talk about clothes. We're just basically kicking Wes out the shit. <laughs> I, I, I love Wes, but I used to love Wes. Um, but those Grusco sweatshirts are very... They are. They're very nice. They're I lost very, it already. 
That's what it's happens already when gone. You get married. Yeah, gone. Women. They are not really. women. Significant others. So what I like about the Grusk sweatshirt is it's not so heavy. No, it's so it's soft. soft it's, in the inside. Yeah. It's I had. So soft. I don't know if I said it on the podcast, but even my FedEx driver liked the logo, and yeah. he was like, "Hey, man, where can I buy that?" And I was like, <laughs> um, "I'll Dave find is out." A cool guy. So I'm gonna. So we got a voicemail oh. last week, and uh, I don't want to say who it is. You you sent me a message like I've been burned before, and then said, <laughs> your mic's a little bit higher than your mouth. And uh, no, listen to it, and, and you you can confirm. Yeah, okay, because I've been burned before by by reading the transcripts of the voicemails through Google yes. Voice yeah. and getting all excited. I've seen you get really excited just and, to be let down, and so I was very calm, and I just said, "Do we do we get to say who it is now?" Microphone. No, we're, we're going to let hints. You can give one. I hint. love his wife. You're talking way okay. too high. I l- that's a, that's a good hint. I love his wife. That's a good, she good hint. She is like hint. a badass if I've ever seen one. Yeah, but she could also be talking about Thunder Bear too. Well, he's on all the time. Because she loves his wife too. I do love his wife. Yeah, your I microphone's think... taken. What is she supposed to do? Well, she's talking like right here. There we go. But then it goes right back down again. Wes, your mic sucks. <laughs> it's <a> mic stand. <laughs> I, when you keep moving and I keep moving my nose because the nose lets right. off the little ledge. And then when you... Okay, I think we got it. I'm I'm going to play the voicemail while Jess plays with her mic stand. Hey, Joey and the boys of Mid-Atlantic Gravel Travel. And the girl. Ted King calling. I thought I wanted to wish you a um, happy one-year anniversary. It sounds like you got a cool thing coming up one year. Um, It was good to see you guys at Unpaved, and I just wanted to say hello. Hope you're doing well. Hope you see you at the races next year. Take care, boys. Later. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. That would have been awesome <laughs> if Man, you said if, that. If I was Dave Fry now, I'd be, I would do a nice clink. <laughs> clink. Clink. That's cool. Thank I'm you. also the only one drinking beer here. Ted, thank um, you, Ted King. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Nice. You know, he, he, very thoughtful that it, you didn't uh, you didn't ask him this. He just called? No, he just called. What he a guy. Called. Yeah. Well, nice he gets guy. better and better every day. Yeah. I know we always talk about him, but he's a genuine. Ted F and King. God. Yeah. And his wife is just as cool with cycling. We should and autograph a and... shirt and send it to him. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah, it'll be worth money someday. Yeah, because a shirt you could wash your car with. <laughs> <laughs> you got to use a small though, because that's what you have left. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You can buy the small, so smalls will soon you didn't be think available. About the population of people who are listening to you guys are not these like very skinny little men. You know, they're they're real men. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, Barely men. I, thank you, Ted. That that is super awesome. Yes, thank you. Um, and he he liked some of our stuff on Instagram. Yeah. a couple of days ago. So He's a cool guy. Super excited about that. He is a cool guy. He was yeah. he was fun to sit and hang out with at Unbaved. Super super um, impressive. I mean, he the kind of guy he is. He stuck around till the Lantern Rouge showed up is, at Unbaved I'm, to oh welcome man, them in. This is embarrassing. I have what's uh, that? You got a little brain man? fart in the uh, what's that quote in the Dark Knight? He's the hero we need. Or um. Ted King is a gravel hero. He there we go. Just, he was just rated the number one. Yeah, power ratings. Number That's one right. power rating. Thing, yeah, though. it was awesome. Mm-hmm. It's all that. There's some big names up there too, men and women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, Allison Thank Tietrich you. is not number one, two, or three for the women. I messaged I her today four, because five. I yeah. I wanted to make sure that I was going to help increase the amount of females in the sport. So well, of course you are. Yeah. Well, I messaged Allison Tietrich and Selena Yeager. So. Selena said I was going to do them well. So Strava Club, let's go take a look at the Strava Club. Joey just just jumped up <laughs> and ran away. Dog. I don't know where he went. Dogs for us. Oh, he's, <laughs> well, I'm vegan, so no corn dog. You're not vegan. <laughs> we had great sausages. We had sa- you had Chick Fil A for lunch, which took 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> are um, you going to do a pop? You yeah, gonna, oh, crack, crack the week. The, we haven't done that in a while. What are you going to do with your teeth? What are you going on over there? You're going to open a beer with your teeth? No, I have your Park Tool shows? and Pedro's um, bottle openers. It's the BO2. Let's do it. This is a, uh, it's Evil Genius Beer Company, and this is a Purple Monkey Dishwasher Chocolate Peanut Butter Porter. Oh, that sounds it's wonderful. Oh. Me and Wes have been on the hunt. Wes just got this last week and told me to get it, and Nick's had it today. I've been on the hunt, and if anyone listener-wise can find a chocolate peanut butter stout, Ooh. Uh, even another peanut butter porter that's not Sweet Baby Jesus, because I think that that's delicious, but it's not as good as everything else. I, I like the others better. Um. Let me know. Okay, crack of the week. That's kind of weak. Very yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, I don't know how you're supposed to make it like. <laughs> I'll just I'll just make it louder. All right. 
So, Strava Club. Joey. Strava Club. What's All going right, on top over Strava land? I'm going to make this short and sweet because I think I drag out Strava too long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, top 100 riders. Random shout outs. Uh, number 60, Jill Morgan, 83.9. Uh, Middle East uh, uh, Miles. Sorry, not Middle East. <laughs> East. <laughs> East uh, Norriton, I can't read that. Pennsylvania. PA. Yeah, I see Pennsylvania, but... Good job, Jill. Um, 17, Sergey Gonstov, um, 179.2 miles from who knows where he's from, something I can't pronounce. Um, I, nice. I looked that up, and I was like, I don't, it's in a different language. I don't yeah. have a clue. David Hope came in at 54 with 86.0. Uh, don't know either. So. I, he he his uh he's got a nice private Strava profile. Oh, I just so. updated mine from Easton, Maryland to Solomon's about oh, a week yeah. ago. Oh, really? I saw that. Yeah, I just downloaded Strava for the twelve rides um, of Christmas. I uh, I updated mine as soon as I moved to Lusby. Lusby. Mm-hmm. I was thinking. I was actually thinking we've all moved this year. The three mm-hmm. of us. <laughs> yep. Um, to break in the top one hundred, you needed fifty three point two miles. Very doable. Yep. And we are up to three sixty two from three fifty nine. So we're still steady not stagnant. Beef. Additional shout outs to local Warren at number three, J- Justin at number seven, and Frankie at number sweet 16. Is this Fran- flirtatious Frankie? Um, flirtatious Frankie. If you don't know where we're at, we're at strava.com forward slash clubs forward slash travel travel. All right, now that Strava's over, uh, Frankie called me the other day at the store. Oh yeah. my God, it was the funniest. We had a long thing. phone call, um, and Ashton picked up and he's like, Hey, this is flirtatious Frankie. And so she's like, there's a guy on the phone. Uh, <laughs> he, he said he goes by, I think he said Flirtatious Frankie. The funniest oh, thing. God, I was like, Lord. oh, yeah, send him over. So she transferred him to my line. And, uh, yeah, we had a good little conversation. Um, hey, leave some of that in the bottle. I want to try it. So not not that much. My friend Brian. That'll, that'll be work. Um, I got six pack, and I'm not going anywhere. So, <laughs> <laughs> um. No, he called. He told me, you know, how excited it was. He didn't think he. I think he was only doing it to try to get into dirty cans in general. Blah blah blah. Um, and yeah. Now he's I, doing the XL. Am I correct with that? Yeah, yeah, it's a three fifty because awesome. they didn't. You don't. That's the only one they have announced yet. He's actually told me his bike of choice, and it's probably not the bike any of us would have guessed. Nope, it's also not the bike I would ever use. Today on Instagram, he was riding an S Works. He is riding his S Rex Roubaix. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> no cussing. Oh, sorry. Oh no, that's just fine. kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sounds like hell. So when? Um, so he's riding his Roubaix, which in he has the Team Edition Roubaix. So the Team Edition Roubaix is a little bit different than a typical specialized Roubaix everyone's used to, and everyone okay. knows the Roubaix got overhauled, and yeah. it looks sexy. It's a good looking bike this week or this year. However, it has the same geometry as the Tarmac. It is what the pros race. Okay. So it's more aggressive. So now, here's here's the real question. Clearance. 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 What's the deal? Clearance, clearance. So Jessica, you know you have a lot of clearance on your diverge, right? Correct. Um the Roubaix can clear a thirty two pretty good. Uh, a thirty two mm. without question. And he does he is, I think, like an actual Envy ambassador now. So I imagine he might be running like AR four point fives, which is a really mm. wide wheel. So Oh, so, so he might I be able to just we want to get too much jargon, but he wants to put a thirty five in there, which is going to be squeezing it. So as you get the wider wheel, it'll drop the tire down lower. Mm-hmm. So you might have the clearance, but I don't want him to... Man, I just don't want to see him destroy his bike. So so, but, but, so, but, what did you say it will clear without a problem? 32? 32. Okay. Yeah. So 32. With those some, wheels, will the profile of the 32s stretch out to be more like a 34? Yeah. Okay, so then... Yeah, because I've, if I've you taken a set and like, yeah, mic'd Mike, them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they they go up three, four, five millimeters, and you know they change. To- it's a totally different tire on that wheel. So, so that actually could be the answer. He may not actually need the the wider tire. He may not need to go to the thirty eight yeah. because he could get close to thirty eight with that different wheel set. But man, I just and he's ridden out there too. But I'd only want to go to like thirty eight or even forty two. Just that deeper tire for that, mm-hmm. that little bit more comfort. Yeah, I just think it's well. But doesn't have to buy another bike. So I listen to yeah. this podcast almost every other week when I do my long runs, and I cannot tell a difference between one set of tire. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but I cannot tell any like I'm I don't know if I ride the same tires or different tires, but I cannot so I can never tell a difference between the tires I ride. 
No, no. You mean no difference in the in the size tires? No difference, or like, no difference uh, in the actual tires themselves. No difference in the actual tires themselves. Even if I had forty two knobbies on versus your twenty eights or your thirty twos. I mean, I guess I would feel it then, but just like, breaking down the myth. Oh, yeah, there's a difference between tires. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, this saying is all hogwash. She's saying all what hogwash. we've all been thinking. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I and really sometimes think. It is true. I mean, I'll go back to my triathlon days. I mean, my coach always used to tell me that it was the engine that did the bike. You could have the worst bike, but you. Can be a super strong rider and it doesn't matter what type of bike well, you're using. To be fair, mm. you do get a little spoiled. You ride really nice tires every time you get on them. Okay, true. So, I mean, you're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah. You know, the, I think if we put you on some really crappy tires, you'd be like, man, these things just what are were those hard. things? They don't grip. What were those specialized things? Oh, like, like the your, Nimbus? Yeah. If you put Nimbus tires on your Diverge yeah. and they would fit, and I, I may still have them, let's do a test. No. Let's do it because I don't know what test. type of tires I ride. Let's put those Nimbuses on her Diverge. Her, those DT Swiss rims she has, they, they are horrible to see. Like, it's a. Okay. Like, I put a. For NCR, I put Nano 40s on there. Mm-hmm. They're, they kind of top out, I think, at 60, 70 PSI. I had to pump them up to 120 behind the door for them to seat. To get them to seat. Without exploding. Uh, that was a pucker factor high. Well, I, so I, I, I hate changing tires on her wheels. I think Joey might be onto something. He's he's always put nice really strong tires, yeah. Yeah. strong contenders, and so maybe there's yeah. not a, you, you haven't you seen the difference. A but I take I, care of my woman. Thanks. I, I swear that that trip I had to put those Nimbus tires, it <laughs> yeah. was like it was like they were concrete wheels. They were so hard, and you felt every little pebble, every little bump, everything yeah. you went over. It's because the tires were just crap. So when we first started riding bikes, Joey and I, Joey was riding an S-Works and with she electric shifters. When I was cool. And I was riding a QR TT bike. Um, that I bought because I thought Joey was going to give me a deal if I flirted with him a little bit. However, we weren't dating at the time. We were not dating at the time. And every time we would go places, I just bought this brand new bike and everybody would be like, oh, wow, is that an S word? Long really story annoying. short, we both had black and pink bikes. Yeah. Matchy, matchy. No one looked at her bike at all. Nobody after ever. Online. That was the most popular bike I ever had. It yeah. I remember bike. that bike. It was I, I remember bike. that bike. Yeah. Well, I, I well, think that's just it. I, so, Frankie. You know, <laughs> Frankie, it's all about consistent and hard work and training. Just he as does. it's all about the engine, but I really do think it's all about what you're riding out there, DK. So yep. we'll see how this shakes out. I but. think that separates the the boys and women from the girls and the man. Okay. Thank <laughs> you for being gender. Yeah. You know, yeah. neutral. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, got some random bits. Um, something that we talked about way back in the past, Man, and it, it's been on my mind for. I don't know how many weeks and like you read my mind. Well, that's what I do. Because every time I get on YouTube, like Yeti or someone puts their podcast on their YouTube channel. Yeah. So let me say what we're going to do. Oh. Um, <laughs> you can now get the full audio of all of our future episodes on our YouTube channel. That's awesome. So if you like watching little audio waveforms bounce around and you consider that entertainment, then by all means, you should be... Um, on our YouTube channel as your primary means of consuming the show. Um, but to be serious, some people find it very convenient because they're on their desktop. It's and easy. it's just a whole lot easier yeah. to go to a yeah. YouTube channel, click yep. the button. That's how I did it Thursday night at the store. Really? Yep. Yeah. Play it through the speakers. And, and hey, that's great. I mean, because you're going to get the notifications through YouTube just like yep. you would on podcast. Yeah. If you're not doing podcast on your phone and you want to do it in your house while you're working or something, you yeah. can do it on your phone. Yep. Um, hey, this is just another mechanism for people to be able to consume the long form content that we're creating. So um, there we go. Um, also have two new events on the calendar. And for both of these, we've, we're going to have the um, event directors on. But I want to run through them really quickly to introduce them. Oh, they, um, they both oh. followed me and I don't know who they are. Uh, like yeah. uh, These are new. Like I didn't even know about them until this week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just showing you how much gravel's popping up. Um, first one, Rocktown Rambler. It is May 3rd, 2020, and I've registered for this one because it looks oh, yeah. pretty badass. It's in Bryce, Virginia. Um, it has both gravel ascents and descents and some single track. Um, there are two distances. The 50 has just over 5,000 <laughs> feet of vertical, and the 26 has just over 2,600 feet of vertical. That's a lot of climbing. Yes, it is, on both, 100 per mile. That's, 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 <laughs> what was grape gravel last year? I don't remember. I, don't I, I didn't do it. I wasn't there. I was Slackers, on the trip. Slackers, because I did it. 
Excuse me. <laughs> um, they've got now they got a um, mountain lodging. You can you can these mountain lodges you can go to. They've got lodging that's going to be in town, and they have on site camping, which early May should be pretty comfortable and pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to put a link to their website in the show notes. And I'm going to give them a shout out just for the website. It is a superb example of what a race website should be. It's got everything you need, nothing you don't. It's got the routes. It's got a cool little short video to introduce it. A lot of pictures, info, an itinerary or schedule, and just a little bit of hype. There it is. What else do you need? Ba-boom. It's done. Bada-bing, bada-boom. An an electric gravel bike. (laughs) <laughs> a hidden electric gravel bike. Creo from Specialized. So in the next few Jerry weeks. does not do hills. Uh, we figured he'd. Yeah, well. <laughs> How many days to grow yeah, oh right? a we were pancake, talking about that <laughs> In the next few weeks, we're going to have the race director, Kelly Paddock, on the podcast to generate some stoke for what looks like a great event. I'm registered. You should be too. Excited. Joey. Looking good. That's a Sunday. Yep. It's a Sunday event. Oh, it is? Yes, it is. The only thing we got to look at Sundays is travel time. <laughs> or maybe like, that's get, not a Sunday. Getting off at 5 o'clock. Um, maybe the boom. next one is. The next one might be. Um, second one that's going on the calendar is the Rothrock Grit Gravel Grinder. That sounds like fun. Yeah. It's just fun to say. It's fun to say. A Rothrock. June 6th, Sean it Connery. is one distance only, 64 miles, and 7,500 feet of elevation. Ooh. Okay. It is going through the Rothrock State Forest, which is one of the largest forests in Pennsylvania, and it's named after Dr. Joseph Trimble Rothrock. What a name. I love that what did name. He Dr. Do? Rothrock. So he was the Commonwealth's first forestry commissioner, and he is recognized as the quote unquote father of forestry Aww, in Pennsylvania. What a nice person. Cool, right? He preserved the trees. Nice. Joey has a hat that says you can prevent forest fires. I love that hat. So the, this <laughs> is the really cool part of what they're doing. And this is, um, there, there are 300 entries and 150 of the entries are going to be reserved for female cyclists. So they are targeting a that's 50-50 awesome. gender split in the race. I think that's super cool. In the next few weeks, we're going to have Tanya on the podcast to talk about what it looks like. Um, and how it's going to shake out. She is also going to come join us for a Boxing Day ride. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Yep. Super Which is cool. another reason Can't why we did Boxing Day ride. Sorry. Yep. In the middle. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're yeah, fine. Because it's in... We're, we're, so we didn't talk about that at all, what we're doing. Do you want to give people the, the rundown while we're here in the tidbits? Oh, yeah. See what we're going to do, and then we're going to do this and that, and then... Uh, we're going to gotta, Sorry, I got to do the ramble like Wes would do. Um, Wait, hold on a second. I'm going to pause you for a second. Gravel Kitten is doing a women's only bike riding weekend. And right. our friend Nadine signed up to do it already and she asked me to go. I think it was super awesome. Uh, I think you should go. That, what's what's the date on that? Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be sometime in April. Um, you guys all have your smart technologies out. Somebody can Google it. But um, Nadine was definitely doing it. Um, and she always does the gravel rides with me. So When's that's Dirty exciting. Kansas? Dirty Kansas. Oh, May uh, 30th. Because I thought it was the same weekend as Rather. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Oh, man, their jerseys look sexy this year. Dirty, dirty Kansas? No, Dirty, dirty Kansas. Kansas. I got to show you. It's a really nice fade. Um, all right. Our fade looks way better. Um, <laughs> you could wear our jersey. You wear our jersey, Dirty Kansas. I'll give you a slap I, on the back and a six-pack of beer. Okay. I am so excited for people to see our jersey. I can't wait to see our jersey at events oh, all over the country. It is we're so gonna, sexy. We're, we're billions and billions. Uh, ah. It might be my second jersey I own. Yeah. Cool. She only owns a couple. All right. So, what's um, the rundown? The Boxing rundown day. is unfortunately, this is out the day we're riding, but I need to blast social media and our Strava. I haven't done our Strava yet. Um, Thursday morning, 8 a.m., we're meeting at Beans in the Belfry. And I've already reserved, I told them we might have 15. Um, I think we're going to have more than that because I called. People don't realize that there's work behind something like this. It's not a lot, but made sure they were open and we're meeting there at 8 o'clock. Grab a cup of Joe, um, use the bathroom. The bathroom. Bathroom. Uh, twelve. 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 Hashtag twelve is a new sticker we're coming up with for Brian. Um, and after everyone's settled, we will head north on the CNO Canal. Check out that massive train wreck. Yeah, I'm excited. Har- about I'm that. excited yeah, for that, that at the Harper's Ferry uh, Bridge. Um, head up towards Shepherdstown, um, or shorter if you want. And that's the great. That's the that's the cool side of us is you can do whatever you want because I think. Uh, uh, Marcus's wife is coming up. Oh, she is. And there's going to be a couple people. You know, go ten miles up and ten back, so you yeah. get twenty. Yeah. Other group will do um, go up to Shepherd's Town, just a forty mile turnaround, so twenty up. And then we will meet back in Smoke Town Brewery. 
think I said that right, is two blocks or so from Beans, Beans and the Belfry. Beans and Belfry. And we'll go there and have a post-ride beer and snack. So we got we got coffee uh, to begin with. Yeah. And beer cool, after. chill ride. See a train wreck. Yeah. And then we come back to the smoke town for beer. Yeah. This, is, this ah. is like living a dream right that there. That was the best no part about NCR was that you could go your pace because... Yeah. It was only one way back to the car. So I wasn't people. sprinting with you, but I wasn't back with Joey. So I was like nice <laughs> in the middle um, in my comfy little Z2 spot. Um, yeah, Z2 also. I'm a Z4. <laughs> <laughs> I told everybody, I was like, Joey did a 50 mile bike ride and he had to lay on the floor and somebody fed him like a baby bird. And oh, that oh. was, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I was telling I my mom this morning. Like a baby bird. Hold on, hold on one second. Let me, uh, I got to go back to that. However, yeah, eight o'clock. Meet us there. If you're listening to the podcast and you really listened to it super early, pack your shit up and meet us there. You can still <laughs> yeah. get it. So you can make it. We pick, we pick Brunswick because it's further north. It's just south of Harper's Ferry. It shouldn't be packed. It should be a beautiful weekend. We have the town and it should be fun. We're starting at 8 Absolutely. o'clock. And there's also a group of people um, that will... I don't know if they're going to push it and go further faster and then turn around. They're trying mm. to do their 50 miler for the 12 days. So oh, they're oh, smart. So we're helping people out that way too. Look yeah. at us doing like GTD helping out the West in the 12 rides. Absolutely. So, or they come back to the 40, you know, grab a beer and then do five and five and do 10 more and to get their 50. Yeah. Piece so I've had cake. multiple people ask me. Well, I've got a lot of interest, you know, Will that bought the cut through last week mm-hmm. is coming. We have a lot of people coming out. Cool. We need to pump that. Yeah. We need to That's pump awesome. that. That's awesome. I'm pumped. I, I did a couple of days in Jersey. So. And with schoolwork, I was a little off line. And the so. happy, happy Valley, Tanya, Happy Valley, yeah. Women yeah. Cycling. Oh, so yeah. They said, followed me on Instagram the other day, and I yeah. loved their cause. They're Rothrock. That's, oh, really? Yeah. Rothrock, yeah. So, yeah, Good Brunswick's grip. a good hub. Yeah. She's bringing beer. Oh. Because they have a sponsor. I'm They're also going to be sponsor, uh, sponsor, sponsor. sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got Ted King. Ted King's from the, the north. <laughs> Specialized is, is the big red ass is behind uh, the Happy Valley women's cycling and the roth rock all right i just like saying that just like like sounds very star trek roth rock. hard g's roth in there yeah. so sorry if i i uh, wanted to finish that because i won't finish it i get off track really quick um so back to the parking lot at ncr um matt one of our listeners and was messaging me about um uh rice cakes and mm. i'll actually do a rice cake thing this week i'll make cool. some more and he wants i'll do a video and instructions um so he did say that also I was picturing the water boy scene where Vicky Valancourt administered <laughs> the water from the glacier part when you were talking about <laughs> Brian getting you the much needed nourishment. <laughs> remember when she uh he's yeah, like yeah, unconscious yeah, yeah, on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah. That uh, was I'm so glad that that got captured with um yeah. actual I didn't, photography. I didn't want anyone to take a picture, but Alonzo did, and I guess after the fact it was fine. <laughs> I think the best part was when Alonzo... She showed me her boobies. <laughs> Alonzo started talking to you, and you were like, not now, Alonzo. Shut up, Alonzo. I, I have no say, idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you're like, the only roll of 50 miles. <laughs> like, this could not be that hard. <laughs> so Okay, so last yeah, week... Not to beat that bush. I, I did my top three gravel products for 2019 joey you are up yeah this week and to uh, give us yours jess is going to give us a quick filler after because i made her do it cool just a heads up um where are we so i have the grx um rx 810 slash 812 because there's the shifters and the railers there's a couple it's the altegra mm-hmm. level grx mechanical right. shift hydraulic disc so i did the di2 last week yes so you're doing the, the yeah altegra i have the level. mechanical version right. level of that um and i love it like it's uh, the way they design the levers, they feel so good on my hands. The ergonomics behind it, um, it's nice, especially with wearing heavy gloves. Mm-hmm. Um, hand positioning, the lever feels good in your hand. Um, it's nice. They actually, my one of five levers. Your wife just laughed at you when you yeah. said the lever feels no, good in your hand. No, I was laughing. We did a, a ride the other day, and I was riding my bike, and I was moving my levers. Oh, and... we'll get back to yeah. Okay, all right. She has a whole other story. Um, so yes, I love. I love the GRX. I'm able to, so I run a Praxis, one of their carbon Zanti cranks up front um, with a 4832 combo. Okay. This is also, my Sequoia is also a quote unquote bike packing bike. Right. So if I want to gear down at all, because I only bike packed once this year, um, I can. And I also am running 1142. And that combo as is, I have no adapters. I have nothing special on it. Nothing it just you. works. Just works. And it works flawlessly. Cool. And the clutch and the derailleur helps with a lot of chain slap. Um, 
So it's nice. I love the gearing. It's just it's crisp. So how long have you been running it? Since September. Okay. So it's been a while. Yeah. You know, I don't have that many miles on it, but I have enough to to know. Yeah. Uh, now that's hydraulic brakes that are still yes and mechanical shifters correct okay yeah after flipping stuff out I think it's they have they have different levels they have a ten speed um, and then they have a one of five eleven speed level I was able to switch all my stuff to the Altegra eleven speed level and then they have the Di two level so, so there's the, stuff out there for everyone those the levers are the same as my Di two GRX levers. Mm-hmm. Are they, are they? Well, they're, the whole, they're, they're, they're shaped. shaped. They're shaped. No, they're they're shaped. actually the Di2 has a different profile. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I kind of like yours, but the, they are flatter. Um, they just they have a little bit more grip. So and is the lever wider? That's yeah. one of the things I like yeah, about it. it is, is. is how wide the lever is. Because I um, th- the thing I loved is when I bought my All City Two, they did that. They did the same thing where it looked like they s- flattened the, the levers on the 105, mm-hmm. where they're fat and thin, mm-hmm. um, and it feels really good. Um, like ergonomics of it, so they actually did that on the 105 recently too. Okay, and I love that. Okay, so, so that's, that's a winner. Yeah, um, just yeah, it works, and it works all the time. Um, my number two, um, is my Wahoo Bolt. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'll leave my second part because that's just as of that one. Um, no, it's just a. It's like probably the easiest computer I've ever had. Cause really? I've had Garmin 500, 510, 800. 1,000, and I had a Lazine, and just out of the box. It's it's easy to set up. I don't like all the extra shit anymore, but it does everything I wanted to. I My only downside to it, and I know it's my number two, is I'm going blind. <laughs> okay. So I think um, it might be an even swap for me because I think Will has been wanting, and I think I'm going to go to the room because the screen's a little bigger. Okay, so... Because I don't wear prescription. So just the Wahoo computers in general. So where does the Bolt sit in their lineup? So... The Bolt was always number two. So they had that. the the Wahoo, um, I forgot the name of it, the big, uh, the old big one, um, the Wahoo Element. I don't mm. know. Um, I work at a shop, but I don't know. And then they had the Bolt, and then they well, had like not, a Mini. If they're not in front of you, we, and I kind of put you yeah, on the Yeah, I mean, we're never that. selling those ones. They're on display because we have a nice Wahoo display. Right. Um, however, the Roam has come out, mm. which is a new color. It's got maps. It's just a bigger non-glare screen, Okay. which does work better with bad Touch eyes. screen? No. Okay. I, I don't the Wahoo like the stuff screen. is not touchscreen, which I, I really like. I do not like touchscreen on, um, on my computers. No. Uh-uh. And uh, so it sits in the middle. It's priced. I think they have it at $200 right now with some sale. What? Yeah, it's cheap. It's a good price. That's yeah. a great price. Yeah. That's a nice upgrade. Because mm-hmm. my 520 has been giving me... I've, I've had my 520 for probably five years now. Yeah. And it sometimes will charge and sometimes won't charge. Um, so I think it's on its... Weren't we at one point episode talking about selling it before it actually dies? Yeah, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'll just keep it until it dies. <laughs> um, I don't want to do that to somebody else. Like, here's yeah. my, here, yeah, it works. There you go. <laughs> there you go. No, so I'm actually gonna, probably going to grab Wes's off his bike because he's gone for mm. Thursday just to see you know, if it helps eyesight a little better because yeah. I don't wear prescriptions when I ride. Yeah. Okay. Um, it makes a difference for me. Okay. So, but uh, help Will out. Will helps me out. It all evens out. Um, and my third is the Pathfinders. Bro. Like, probably one... I, I almost made them no I almost want to say they're the best tires for what we talk about you know gravel oh, and yeah. I'm not going to reiterate we've already talked about it enough but because I do love my my slick gravel kings mm. on my, my road bike but yeah those pathfinders will do everything I mean you ride them you ride you actually have a road bike again but did, did you ride your eBay yet no no oh. <laughs> yeah um <laughs> How's that diverge yeah. over there? So well, the diverge treat me really well. And so. you can you can hold your own with thirty eight Pathfinders. Absolutely. On the yeah, asphalt. That's it. You can take it off the road. Like they are the end all beat alls. I did twenty three today at seventeen. Even Russ from with Pathless a thousand feet. Them. I mean, they're they're fast on the hard top yeah. and, and I tell you, when I rode them in the swamp, they grabbed that sand. Yeah. And I, I I tell you what, I walked away from that with those Pathfinders so excited for Croton. Because, uh, yeah. you know, I, that I, told me those are the tire for that event. I want to them to do more they sizes. Did. Like, it'd be cool if they did a 32, maybe a 35, 38, and 42. 38 and 42 is the only one they do, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't I don't know. I, I think it it just works. They're, I don't, actually, I don't he, care. Those would be good and hurt to verge, so I don't have to keep switching tires out. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So, no, that's my top three products. What's your number one? Number one? Oh, 
I did put GRX as number one. So you're number one. How you're can you one. not like not not like a gravel specific group set? Even okay. though Shimano is usually a little behind on that stuff, but right. No, I like it. Score. And I think if anything coming up, and Jess might do her quick top three. Jess had a little incident this weekend. Jess needs a one by, and it might Dude. be a GRX one by. Okay. Why do you need a one by? Uh, after 17 years of riding, she still forgets I didn't ride how to for shift. 17 years. <laughs> So I was we're riding doing the up average. a hill, and I was like, "Do you want me? To, I can tell it was absolutely okay. Yeah, yeah air time. And I said, "Joey, Joey, Joey!" And everybody like looked at me. This is going down Rousby Hall around the swoop, so I can't hear. Okay, it. okay. And this nice man, Marcus, behind me goes, "Do you have a mechanical problem?" And I said, "Yes, I can't find any of my gears." And he said, did you click the left side or the right side? And I said, I don't know. I, I just don't know what to do. I just keep clicking until I feel good. And then I just stop. And I was riding and my legs were all flimsy and I lost all my gears. But they were there. She was in the easiest combo on the bike. Yeah. Going down really the hill. Going down the hill. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's basically your legs are flying. Exactly. That's <laughs> what, what happened. Yes. So I tell her, A, she's, she knows how to shift and yell mechanical next time. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I was like, no, get yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. She, she learns. She, I'm going back to school. She's going to bike school. <laughs> the Joey Sikorsky bike I'd rather bike work harder. On, so, I'd rather work harder than learn how to shift. That's my rationale. So that's why you're thinking of one bike. Exactly. Because I'd or rather she, build my legs stronger and all those things versus learning when to shift and when it feels right to shift. And we might be able to keep up with you at uh, yeah. things like Grape Gravel if you're... <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of... Oh, everyone wait for me. Wait for me. Oh, 40 minutes Zoom. later. Where's everyone else? I'm done. Wes always tells me the part of when he pulled over to help me fix something. And then he fixed it. And then I said, bye, Wes. I'll see you later. <laughs> he told I met him an hour later at the finish line. <laughs> He's told me that story numerous so, times. <laughs> we were driving home from Jersey. We did our Jersey Christmas. It's, uh, not that part of Jersey. It's, it's exit seven, middle Jersey. 7A. Seven 7A. Seven a, not, not the north part where they all talk like that. What exit are you from? Um, okay. And she decided she a single speed would actually be the best thing. <laughs> Could be. So uh, you know, yeah, you know, single speeds aren't ridiculous. She needs like an all city nature boy. Mm. That'd be a fun bike to see if she really I'm, likes it. I'm um, slowly giving into Joey's like buy multiple bikes at more than one time. You know how Joey mm-hmm. never keeps a bike for more than a month. Well, how many bikes do you have? Um, I have a TT bike, and we don't get rid of it because that's the bike. Sentimental. Hey, I've still got all my bikes from college. That's the bike that, you know, if it wasn't for that bike, I wouldn't have met Joey. So I kept it. Um, And then it was, then I have the the Diverge. So really you have one bike you ride. The Diverge, yeah. 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 I mean, I did an Ironman on the Diverge. I've done gravel bike rides on the Diverge. There's a road ride. And I do all my road ride training. So she needs the Pathfinders on that bike. She does. Yeah. And what what does she have on there now? Well, we took West... (laughs) We took Wes's tires. So because of last week's gravel cool. ride, um, her wheels have Nano 40s on there. Because I think mm. they were solid tires. Oh, yeah. And, I, and, and I have a lot of tires sitting yeah. around. So they were never even used. So we put them on. And for Saturday's ride, though, Wes's Diverge is sitting there. So I took his it's the same took exact his bike, everything. Yeah. So I swapped the wheels. He had the 32 Roubaix's on, tubeless. Okay. So. Thank you, Wes. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks, Wes. Wes. <laughs> he doesn't know yet. He doesn't I'll put him back on. It'll be clean, so. and he'll never figure it out. <laughs> See um, how long it takes Wes to never, listen to this episode. Listen to because this. <laughs> tomorrow, both wheels are coming off. It's going on the kicker upstairs because we have the kicker and the climb. Okay. And then that's the nice part about it. And then the Nano 40s will go on tomorrow or Wednesday night for Thursday's ride. Cool. So, so you you've got. Top three. Yeah, I got top three. three. I'm nice. pumped for this. Let's hear them. I'm super excited. So um, I will start off with saying that I don't always ride my bike. So I do mm-hmm. multiple sports at multiple times. So it's not like... Because you're a runner. Um, I ride... I like my bike the best. I, really? I like my bike the best. Running is my hardest. Okay. Um, and that's why I practice it most of this season. Um, because I was trying to qualify again for age group nationals for the triathlon. So I figured I'd practice my weakest for the longest time. Okay. So, that um, makes sense. yeah. So the specialized power saddle, um, is awesome. And I remember when they first came out with it, they're like, you never take a sick day because your vagina hurts. No, that was so, the mimic one. <laughs> oh, that was, oh man, that Another was power. such a good technique. Like, cause you look at it, you're like, wow, you're right. You know, sometimes it does hurt. Um, but my power saddle is absolutely awesome. I've never had a saddle sore. I don't think I've ever had a saddle sore. Um, oh, you would know if you've had it. I would. Yes, you would. You've not. So, 
I'll remember that episode when Wes was like, Jess probably picks uh, Joey saddle sores. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the power saddle is awesome. It's super comfy, super roomy. Um, but my Wahoo kicker setup, it's pretty awesome. I have the climb, I have the kicker, and I have the fan, and I have the mat. Oh, you got um, it all. I have it it's all. It's bundle. Yeah, and Score. I usually Zwift before Joey gets up in the morning. So I'm a 4 o'clock on my Zwifter, 4 o'clock a.m., because um, I get to work by 6.30, so I can put in a good solid work of hour on my Wahoo. Um, also, because I'm super uncomfortable riding by myself and riding outdoors by myself. Score. Uh, because I don't know how to change tires. Not until the Joey Bike School yeah. of uh, Instruction comes Hey, up. but you know what? That... that Oh, but it's, I, I've it's said easy. it forever that you know there's a whole group of people, triathletes in particular, that do they do so much training. They're either running or in the pool or on the bike that the time of the day escapes them. Yeah, and yeah. and Zwift yeah. and doing the indoor trainer. There's a lot of them that that bike never sees the outdoors exactly until it's race time. Exactly. Um, and but I'm firm. That's cool. So if I would train now, I mean, I'm a teacher, so I get to work at 6.30. I leave work by 5 o'clock. So I wouldn't be seeing daylight if I was training outdoors. So everything is basically done indoors. Um, we are on the up and up solstice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but running season's over now, so it's time to get on my bike. Um, and my last one is my absolute favorite thing. It's because I can use it in multiple different disciplines. So my road ID. Um, I am a running coach. And when I used to run with my athletes, I used to have a note card on each of my athletes and they used to write down their information. But now when we run outside, everybody just wears their road ID. So I feel much safer as a coach, um, but also um, at Unpaved with Dave Pryor. Um, we had no cell phone reception. Mm -hmm. So Joey Sikorsky <laughs> told me that if he fell off a mountain, because it took him six hours to get done a 35 mile ride. Um, if he, <laughs> Oh, he does not she look happy. The whole story. He does not look happy over there. Okay. <laughs> if he fell off a mountain that he would be fine because he had his road ID and somebody would have notified me. So that is our number one rules. We always wear our road ID with whatever we're doing. If that no one went John Rambo and been fine in the wilderness. And then he said he was there. an Eagle yeah. Scout and he could survive the nature. So I was being overreacting. <laughs> he could survive the nature. <laughs> I was overreacting that it took him seven hours to do a gravel ride. Yeah. <laughs> so no, there's there's a peace of mind that comes with, with the, the road, road ID. ID. Are they it, selling fear? No. They're selling peace of mind for the people that are. So what's different um, than that than the Angie helmet? Like I, I, I'm all for both of them, but I know the I big argument is. I can't wear my is, Angie helmet when I'm running. You don't have an Angie helmet. Well, that would be did, awesome if you I did. <laughs> you know, like my no, no, road ID. But but I'm I'm trying to think of the argument, and I'm pro. I like I well I almost always wear my road ID. It's right there. Uh, I don't have an Angie helmet, but the talk of the Angie helmet is: Are you selling fear? Like she said, she feels safer that people have them. Mm -hmm. But like I've had someone ask me, like the UPS driver, uh, or one of our FedEx drivers, because our UPS driver is great and it's been the same. But one of our fill-in FedEx drivers is like, "Is that in case you get hit and killed on the side of the road?" And I'm like, yeah. "It kind of is." Yeah, it, it's kind of. Like, isn't that weird? You wear that then? I'm like, "No." I never really thought about it until he said it like that. I th I think it's more for your loved ones. Yeah. So that that they know yeah. when you go out on the road that if something were to happen to you, yeah, and it doesn't happen. necessarily mean that you're going to be killed. You no, could no, no, be no, unconscious. You, you could have a whole Hallmark movie avoided yeah. because if you're like you don't get the amnesia Look and you're not in the little small town yeah. for a whole period of. Uh, I'm getting blank scares. You I mean, well, well, you know the Hallmark like, movie. Has, Matt Hawkins was a uh, <laughs> hit and run. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I I think there is. Something to be said for it. Uh, I really like the more. allergy part because I am on medicine and my mm -hmm. medicine doesn't react with everything. So I do think that um, because I don't always run with my cell phone on me or close to me. I don't Strava. I don't have a Garmin watch. I don't have any of that. I do completely non-technology mm -hmm. when I run or when I ride my bike because, you know, I know when I'm out of breath, when I'm out of breath. So there's no need for a number to tell me that. Um, I know a lot of people too that have, when they say, oh, you know, road ID, they go, oh, I just stick something in my bag on my bike. Your bike doesn't go with you to the hospital. Truth, <laughs> Only truth, you truth. go to the hospital. Unless it's part of you. Yeah, unless it's really <laughs> bad. 
<laughs> don't pull it out. <laughs> no, you, that, that doesn't go with you. But something that's strapped, even your even if it's on your shoe, yep. your shoe. They have the yeah. shoe IDs also. They, 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 your shoe. You ever, how many times do you see people in the YouTube videos where the shoe goes flying off well, when say, they have two yeah, subs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you may not, shoe places. ain't going to go with you, especially if it's clipped into your 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 bike yeah. it, you know so, yeah, so it's more likely your foot's coming out so there. on the on the ankle or on the wrist or or something like Tattooed. you know it's going with you to the hospital so that your loved ones can get notified sooner rather than later i will tell you the most time i use it though when i'm at the grocery store and i don't have joey's like weiss card I'm like 443, and I read it from my <laughs> road ID because yeah. I don't have my nobody, cell phone on me. I don't know for And phone nobody number. knows phone numbers no. anymore. I remember them. Well, I, I don't. Ones. I don't. I, well, I know a couple. But, you You're 410 231. 3850. Um, so cool. That was yeah. your number one, though, the road ID. My road ID. I Excellent. take it everywhere, and I wear it every day. And in the summer, I have a nice road ID tan line. So, so now, it was Joey's turn to do Instagram follow of the week. <sighs> But Joey, I, I, Instagram. I, 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 need going, a, I need a little side segment after Instagram too, just to hold okay. on. So I'm going I'm gonna shove Joey aside. Oh, poor actually, Joey. mine was last week, and wasn't it? Wes is this week. No, I was last week. Wes doesn't use Instagram. Oh, yes, yeah, so and I was gonna hand it off to you, yeah. and then Wes just makes it up on the fly. But Jess, I would like to ask you if you're prepared and ready to give us an Instagram follow recommendation for the week. So I love my girl Selena Yeager, um, fit chick. Um, she's awesome. And not only is she cool by her like morale of speaking and her knowledge of cycling and nutrition on all those really cool things, she just has this whole motive about getting more girls on bikes nice. and getting people on bikes. And she goes into this whole episode on her podcast um, about how she gets more people on bikes and how many messages she receives about people who you know, were dying of a heart attack and they got on their bike and they got healthier. Changing and lives. She talks about it all the time about bringing people onto this road and bringing people onto this bike. Um, and I think it's awesome. Not only that, um, she is so cool about messaging me when I'm doing a ride or when I'm doing my marathon. She was like, good luck. I can't wait to see your pictures at the end. Cool. Um, so she's super awesome. She wrote that book, Gravel. Mm -hmm. You're um, sitting on it. Woo, woo, woo. It's in the chair uh, you. As I wiggle my booty. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but, um, so the coolest part I think about her is I think Allison Tietrick is really cool. And Allison Tietrick quoted Selena Yeager when she won DK. And when I was listening to that podcast, I was like, wow, you know, the really famous people get to stand on the podium, but nobody really sees what's behind that person standing on the podium. The curtain. And, it's all these people. I'm not. I'm gonna ignore you about that. And I do the, it all the time. Behind the podium is so many other people that are encouraging you along the way. Like Allison was saying, just keep riding, just keep riding. You know, just keep riding. And I think those things are speak volumes to our community and to the sport that we're in. Nice. I want to what, say an Allison what, what, Celine uh, write off. What is her actual Instagram handle? Fit I'll chick. put a link. Fit Chick, Just Fit Chick? Yeah, Just Fit Chick. And the best part is I love when she makes her breakfast into little smiley faces. Cool. So she takes like non bread and peanut butter and little apples and she makes a smiley face every morning from her from her breakfast. Like how cool is that? Nice. You know, she wrote a book, you know, all these famous people are quoting her and, you know, she sits down every morning and makes a positive meaning to the world. And that's who I'm there about to follow on Instagram. There it Way is. Way more in depth than any of ours. Oh, no, it's uh, good. No, applaud. Applaud. Thanks. I'm like, oh, I'll read this one because the wordage is cool. <laughs> now, you said you There's wanted... penis on there. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted a little extra time. Oh, yeah. What, what so is your... Back, I'm, I'm going to bounce back to you our back old um, <laughs> GTD days. So, my... My mother-in-law, my great-mother-in-law got me an REI gift, REI gift card today. Mm -hmm. Right. And I texted her. I was in the store and... For a while, I've been... So I actually need new pants. I really like some pants there. He likes the double gusseted pants. I like my gussets. They do need gussets. Yeah. North Face makes some nice pants, but I think they're discontinuing the pair I just fell in love with. Ugh. Long story short, I've also been on the hunt. So my my bike packing tent um, needs like highly replaced. And I think if I had that, yep. I would probably be more likely to do more stuff next year. Okay. And... So I've been I've been tent hunting, and then you t you text me about was it the uh, the, the half dome um, half dome plus. So I've been looking at that one, and I'm tossed up about tents because I want something affordable. They st they get ridiculous. I, I yes, haven't tent do. shopped in a while, 
and we can get some Nemo stuff through our QBP distributor. Um, and I, I guess I have real specific criteria, but I'm on the hunt for a new tent. So the core, so I want to know why you picked that one. So because I, I thought it seemed heavy. I I carry the half dome. Um, where I'm a big guy and I'm a little claustrophobic with tents. Yeah, because I want a huh. two-person side doors, vestibules, all the you so know, bells and whistles. My requirements for a Wait, tent. Wait, hold on a second. I'm going to pause you for a second. Sure. Who's in your two-person tent? Is it me or is it Wes? No, I want two person so I have room. Oh, okay. So room, room for my. Other, I, that's what I need it for. <laughs> my, I need, my, my other, for me. my tent I currently have is a like very ultra, somewhat ultra light. It's almost like a bivy, like a one person. So yeah, it's you small. can't sit all the way up in it, but it, you know, it's almost so, under two pounds. It's little, so 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 my tent. Then my requirements are are yeah. um, open vestibule on each side. Yeah, that's mine. And I like to have an actual vestibule on each side, not yeah. just the door. So that I can put gear outside under the vestibule on one, on side. one side. I can open up the door and get, get it. to yeah. it. Um, and then go in and out the other door. Yeah. Um, but also keep in mind, remember, that a lot of my travels in, in leading tours mm-hmm. are van supported. Yeah. So I don't have to so carry that. Because it's almost four and a half, It's five almost pounds. five pounds. Yeah. It's almost five pounds and when I you add the footprint. picked it up today. Right? Yeah. Like, Dude, that's... Yeah. But, so here's the other thing is... is here's the kicker. Um... The way that I pack that tent, uh-huh. I don't I don't roll a tent. I stuff a tent. Yeah. Because when you stuff a tent, the creases never fold in the same spot. Yeah. And when you always fold a tent the same way, it tends yeah. to creases, develop yeah. those creases. So I do that because I'm lazy. Stuff a tent, and I <laughs> put them smart. into their own dry sacks. Yeah. And they do, e- even though it's a little heavier, uh-huh. it compresses really well. Yeah. Um, the poles are carried separately. So when you begin to break all those pieces up... Yeah. Yeah. Um, the one I would look at if, and, and I've looked at this one, is the is the quarter dome. I saw that. So the quarter dome, yeah. I think, takes some of the weight off. It probably takes about two pounds off, uh-huh. but I think it has the same features. Okay. Now, the half dome that I have now, one of the things that I hate about it is the zipper opens all the way out at the bottom of the vestibule. So you have to lean all, all, the, way all the way out and try to get it and zip it up. Yeah. The new half domes, they come from the side and they zip around, but they don't lose the vestibule space with the way that they're put yeah, together. Sure. So um, we just went way deeper on tents. That was very but you no, but we, got wait, you know, we haven't talked about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so that's my, those are my requirements. And then affordability. It's not bad at all. No, it's like so 250 bucks for the quarter, yeah, yeah, for the yeah, half dome. Yeah. Half dome's like 250 yeah. bucks. It's not bad. That's an you, investment because you're going to have it for a long time. And I've had my half dome now for probably four years. It is the end of its life. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know it's great for fair weather camping. Yeah. Uh, but you know when I'm out for two weeks at a time, how often does it happen that you're you have fair weather every day? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't work that way. Yeah. So that's my just my little take. Yeah. On, so I'm tent hunting. I, I think and it's a good one to, to look at. It's a. Uh, yeah, not too shabby. I got some nice gift cards. So. There it is. Yeah. It's well, it's also it. next year's not as busy as this year was with. Wait life. for a sale. Yeah, that's for sale. I Wait mean, I went sale. in there. I was in there. I took a detour to Newark, Delaware. Um, it was nice stretching the legs out, but I spent half hour, 40 minutes in there. And yeah, I was back and forth on pants and stuff. I ended up walking out with nothing and I got in the car and she's like, You spent all that. <laughs> I know she was thinking, You spent all that time in there and you got nothing. I was like, Well, no, I feel like I, I didn't want to feel obligated to buy something just because I was at a store and I, you know, I had the money to spend. I buy all my clothes at Walmart, so. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Either give me free T-shirts yeah, or free t-shirts. or dude, I'm all about I'm all about nice pants. Jess just gave me the up and down. She's like, you really did, wearing Walmart I clothes? Not. <laughs> I did go buy Lululemon pants this morning, so I shouldn't talk about my. I'm all but, about comfortable pants. Okay, so here's the thing, though. If I'm gonna spend six hours running in a pair of pants, they have to be good pairs of pants. Yeah, just like cycling, yeah. bibs exactly, exactly. Just like I our agree. cutaway jerseys I coming. Exactly. I, I put a lot of money into my cycling gear. Yeah. Um, I put too much, but I put nothing into the actual clothes. <laughs> <that I wear. laughs> well, like these, these, the North Face stuff is like I have nice shirts and everything, but I never really invested in nice pants, and oh. I finally have a pair now. Yeah, and Piranha, Piranha, uh, Piranha sounds like Piranha. The pair I almost bought today would almost make like the perfect gravel pants. Mm-hmm. You know, they were they were uh, super comfortable. They were somewhat stretchy. You know, you could ride a bike with them without feeling yeah. You know, full coverage. They, um, I was. I just didn't. I didn't want to feel obligated to buy something, but yeah. I might. I think I found a pair on REI site on sale. So, so with REI, I mean that's one place where you make you, money. you can go and look at the stuff in the store. Yeah, and then kind of take your time and walk away from it and and buy stuff later. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I bought this year um, was two of the big U-Haul 
REI bags. Oh, yeah. I bought one of their 60 liter and 120 mm-hmm. liter. Um, and I love those bags. Actual waterproof yeah. and durable because I, you were tough on bags. So. Yeah. I say my my Patagonia bag I bought this year, I beat the shit out of it still. Yeah. yeah. And it's way outlasted my specialized bag already. Yeah. So, yeah, I got, a, I got my dividend back on that one. Yeah. So, I don't know. I want to. I, I need to get a tent soon because I want to. I want to use the early part of the year with Crow Tent and do some some of the bike packing parts of GTD. Good. So good. Fun. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I think you guys have a lot of fun when you guys do your day trips or stuff like that. So yeah, those are. I highly encourage those. I like. I like the sub twenty four. Yeah. No, yeah. I agree. Because they're, they're, al- they're they're almost like a day trip. Easy. Yeah. You go up. You ride. Like the trip we did where we rode at night. Yeah, God, that, that was, was a, so oh, much. That was fun. one of my favorite trips. So much fun. Even like even the rain was fun. Yeah. Well, okay. Once we got set up. So you guys were on a long card ride today. Oh, oh God! Such and a long car ride. and Joy's I see some magic here that came out of that for this or that question. But we have like eight of them now. I know. No, we we're gonna we're gonna save them. the ones. We're gonna save the other ones for for later because oh, I wrote some right. and you guys wrote some. But looking at yours, I like yours better. Yeah, the first three are Jess's. They're very respectful. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, Do you want to give her last week's real quick? Um, So the results from last week? Yeah. Yeah. So we've put our poll up for our episode 50, this or that. And the question that I chose to put up was to be able to ride a bike at 100 miles per hour or fly at 10 miles per hour. What would your answer be? 100% fly. 100% fly. 100% fly. Overwhelmingly, 23% people chose ride a bike at 100 miles per hour and 77% chose to fly at 10 miles per hour. So that was pretty easy. I think we all chose fly. If I remember. Yeah, because... I think we did. Joey's fly. afraid of heights, though, so I don't know if he chose flying but or no, not. No, it doesn't say you have to fly high. Yeah. Just have to hover? You could you could fly, like, just a few feet okay. off the ground. It could be like he's just, like, hovering. He'd never have to walk anywhere, oh. if you think about it. Oh. Or no, could... What, now, we're not going to go back to last week's... <laughs> so I could go on and on. Um, this week's, and this is the order in which we're going to go. You're going to go first, Woo-hoo. Jess, because mm-hmm. ladies first. Yes, sir. And then... You go second. I'll go second, yeah, and I'll then be the Wes. you'll be Wes. Okay. I'll have some so I think this answer. is great because when I'm in the car listening or running listening, I'm like yelling at you guys. When you guys are doing this. I'm like, <laughs> why See, would you nice. choose so that? Jess, so what people don't know is Jessica paid us five hundred dollars this episode to sit in just so she could do this. So if you want to, like if you want to sit in and do this or that, then do the whole episode. It's. Uh, Five Benjamins, and you can you can talk about whatever you want. Do you know how Lucy is always trying to get on Ricky's show? Yeah. Like, that's the whole purpose that's of I Love like. Lucy. That's exactly what I felt like today. I was like, every single time I try to go on the show, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And then I'm always, like, turned down. But The first item on this or that, cold feet or cold hands? Cold feet. Cold feet over cold, cold hands? Feet. Why? My, I will. She's a freak. A freak, a super freak. Okay, no. Um, so when we did, well, first off, I have a really hard time when my hands get too cold of ripping open my nutrition. So okay. if I'm running or if I'm riding, I have a hard time because my, my hands are so cold that I can't rip over my nutrition. Hold on, did you, did you pick cold feet or cold hands? I'm, I, I forgot. I picked. I would rather have cold feet. Oh, okay. Because yeah. when I get my hands get so cold, I can't change the music. I can't open nutrition. They just hurt to move them. Okay. So I'm definitely going with cold feet. I think I would also go with cold feet because your feet, they're clipped into the pedals. You have no idea. They don't, they don't really need to do anything. Your legs are doing the work. Yeah. Your feet are just attached. They're uncomfortable. When your hands are cold, that's ridiculously Everything uncomfortable. Everything hurts when my hands get cold. So I'm right there. Joey? I don't know. I'm pretty, I have a high tolerance to cold hands. Like the other day I rode four miles with gloves on when it was 40. Yeah, you. I saw you on NCR the other day riding without yes, gloves on. Yes, that I was, was like, that what ride. are you doing? I, I was, I, my hands are freezing. I don't know if it's because I'm a mechanic. I might go cold, yeah. cold feet because I'm big, I work with my hands, dexterity, everything. So okay. I don't know if it's because they're all gross and mangly and callous. Right. I can withstand the cold better. So cold feet across the cold board. Feet. So side note, my brother is a mechanic. Electrical engineer. He's an engineer. He's an Let engineer. Let me stop you there. Wait, he's an engineer. We, we talked about and Jason. Jason also listens, Jessica. I know, I know, but I love my brother. Go ahead. And he couldn't get his bike, his wheel on his tire, right? His bike wheel on. So he put it in the oven. He's ripping his hands up. And he put the whole to tire in it. the oven yeah. to soften it up. It was and smart. then he sucked it up and paid five dollars, fifteen dollars at the local bike shop and just <laughs> asked the man to put it on for him. Tire jack. I carry one on on tour. Tire jack. 
Is that that little lever thing? Mm, it's the See little lever right thing. Here, ladies. Yeah. Okay. They're actually okay. pretty bad. Item those. number two, this or that, rolling hills or steady climb? Um, hmm. So I think grape gravel was just going up one big hill. I feel like there was no declines. Like I just thought I was climbing one big mountain and I've gotten much better at mountains because I'm from the Eastern shore. Well, not from there. I lived there when I first started bike riding and everything was just flat. So it's really hard for me to go to hills, but I'm going to say rolling hills. Because if I can see the end in sight, then I just sit down in my saddle and go really, really slow. But if I can't see the end in sight, then I'm like, oh, shit. And then I start getting in my unhappy place. And then, you know, I take a swig of water. I readjust my ponytail and I try to keep going. But um, the hardest part visual about, in my head. Like, <laughs> the hardest part of Great Gravel was that I was literally climbing up one big mountain. So I, I, I would probably go with rolling hills just because it's enjoyable, but there is something about a nice steady climb. I can, I, I've come to, I've come to terms with it. I've come to peace with it. And I find it kind of peaceful in that you, the, 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 it's, slow. it's the exact yeah. inverse. You settle, you, you know, you said you can't see the top. Yeah. My thing is you can't see the top. So you're not in a rush. You just settle in, you find your cadence and you start spinning your legs. And before you know it, it's over. Um, I, I don't know, so I, I, but I would still say from a pure perspective of an enjoyable ride on the whole, I think rolling hills offer a little bit more social opportunity, yeah. and it's just a little bit, I don't know, chiller. I get in so much trouble talking to people on hills. Joey's like, "Stop talking! These people can't breathe." <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, how yeah. you doing today, buddy?" And I just keep talking. Don't talk to Tom King going up a hill. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah, four minutes later. The new St. Jude fundraiser is for every mile I don't talk, people have to donate for, to me a dollar. Ooh, you, right? Ooh, yeah, I would yeah. rather end up owing people I money. Keep yeah. Cheering, yeah. I keep cheering people on, and Wes has compared me to a golden retriever, and I'm just like, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. So go ahead, love. It's well, all you. I did Seagull one year with her, and she talked to all 10,000 people on the ride. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, yeah. Knew her. Everybody Good went job, by. athlete. Keep going. <laughs> we, we went by a lot of people. She was, we were really quick that year. Um, I don't know. Cause, Do you like remember you said, the question? Is, no, yeah. Okay. I would say there is something about getting on a climb, and we actually need to take her out the skyline soon. Because mm-hmm. um, it is a lot of fun. And usually for climbing something like that, there, it is it is a pretty sight. You know, there's views, usually. So the one thing I don't like about climbing like that is going down. I'd rather climb than go down. I, I'm scared. That's why I went yeah, 100 of, miles an hour. A pucker factor is yeah. high. <laughs> you know, it's, it's all the way down to, oh, shit, did I tighten that bolt down? Or is mm-hmm. a squirrel going to pop out? Or a deer? Or am I going to hit a hole? Or is my tire going to blow off? How, like, how sharp is the that The list turn? goes on, yeah. Um, and gravel makes it worse. Mm-hmm. Um, coming down Grusk, um, coming down through Snob, yeah. one of the mountains. Ooh, that's... That's one of my scariest descents. Uh, especially so you would go. With, you would go with rolling hills. It sounds like. Oh no, going up. No, I would go with rolling hills. Yeah, I'm a fat guy. You know, depending on how roll they are, I'll carry a little momentum. Yeah. Um, you just get them over with because that's kind of where we live is rolling hills. Okay, third item on this or that: rice cakes with blueberries or rice cake with chocolate chips. It's my turn. Yes, it is your I'm turn. I'm going blueberries. Blueberries. I do try to I try to do like an all natural, like I'm the exact inverse of Joey. Like I'm all about consistent training and watching nutrition and cross training. <laughs> wow. And Joey's all like, well, I should start riding my bike this week because Croatin's coming up, you know, or when he was training for DK, he just fished all the time. And <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he just fished. I never saw him ride his this bike. This is Jess's one and only appearance on Gravel Travel Dirt. <laughs> I need another beer. I'm going to go rice cakes with chocolate chips because they were delicious. They were really good. My and, blueberry ones were good. But I would also go, my preference would be rice cakes with blueberries if you have to baby bird feed somebody who's oh, laying on the ground oh, because that was Joey. what I fed you. <laughs> Do you think they're still good if they've been sitting in my fridge? Yeah. Should I toss them and make some fresh? Just make some fresh. I don't have many left. Did you did you freeze them or in the fridge? In the fridge. It's been they like did a sit out all day. Uh, no, 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 no. I need to make a video anyway. So yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. 
Um, but freeze some. Go ahead and throw some in the freezer. Yeah, well, this this time I make them, I'll know. I, did, I didn't realize how many they'd make. Okay. Um, I'm going to go chocolate chip because of what Jess just said about Score. me. Score. <laughs> but they would be good mixed. They are good mixed. How about a little honey? And I did buy bacon <gasps> today. Yeah, he did buy bacon this morning. Bacon. A little bit for breakfast tomorrow, Christmas Eve, and rice cakes. Oh, that's wonderful. Bacon and maybe some blueberry and chocolate chips all in the same. All in the same one. Sweet Do you think savory? we could throw like almond butter in one? Like what rice cakes and almond I'll make butter? you whatever you would like. Oh, yeah, that would so actually sweet. work. Yeah. Like yeah. Peanut, it's like peanut butter. Yeah, maybe I'll put peanut butter in too. <laughs> but, but not as good. <laughs> Skippy? Okay. Um, Last item. Uh, have to sprint because of a bowel movement <laughs> or have to sprint because of a dog chasing you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like there's a story behind this one. No, I just I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Jessica? So I have a really hard time sprinting if I have to have a bowel movement. You know, like that's really hard for my body to adjust to. So when I did my running loops, I would start and do a loop so I can always come home and use my own private bathroom. No, on a bike. <sighs> this is not run, travel, dirt. <laughs> run, run, run. I did almost make it the full podcast without talking about my marathon, but that's just besides the point. You do have the medal right do, there. I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to go with the dog. Sprint because of a dog. Yeah. Oh, I take a probiotic in the morning, so mm. usually I'm like... <laughs> No, you gotta think Clockwork outside the box. You gotta think that you, you know, you ate about four pounds of cheese because you're. I don't eat cheese because I'm lactose intolerant. No, but you have to. You just have to think Meanwhile, outside the box. Meanwhile, Joey says he's lactose intolerant and sees how far he can make it with the cheese. Oh, I'm a. I, uh, I just. I like cheese. <laughs> um. So I really wouldn't worry about sprinting because of a bowel movement because I carry little dude wipes with me on the bike. Well, do you so, really? Yeah, absolutely. Not all the time. I saw him take a duke in the woods about a month ago <laughs> with no toilet paper. You just jump over into the woods and oh, there you go. I, I don't have a problem with that. I wouldn't really sprint it out. It would be just like you find somewhere to go. When in doubt, sprint it out. Yeah. I, I don't really... I, I hate the idea of a dog chasing because, okay, a horrible story. I was on a tour. Dog was chasing us. And we had all gotten by the dog and then heard the thump of a car oh, God. behind us. Dang, and Brian, don't make me cry. No, 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 no. So we went the whole week. Everybody was super bummed. But then the second week was the same tour, same route, different people. But I was leading it. And I went by the exact same spot, and there was the dog. So it wasn't whatever it was that got thumped. It was not the dog. Hopefully it was so a I cyclist, not a dog. <laughs> so we were riding our bikes in Solomon's. Oh, yeah. Average show. Keep going. We were riding our bike in Solomon's and these runners, stupid runners, were running with their dog not on a leash. Oh, jeez. I almost saw this dog get clocked twice. And this person, this guy in a big old truck, like, paw, like, like, uh, his brakes, right? Because this dog was running without a leash and they're like, Daisy, come back. Come back, Daisy. Like, put your damn dog on a leash. Yeah, seriously. Like, that was the yeah. second rule when we got Max was I have to make sure that I give a leash because yeah. one time I went to the post office and Max just went into the back. So he just wanted to see what was going on <laughs> in the back of the post office and Joey's like, you can't have a dog. You're not responsible enough. Blah, 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 blah. It's not that I want to put a dog on a leash to be mean. It's, it's more the safety of the dog. Their like, safety, yeah. You know, if that dog got hit, I'd go over and was, punch the guy in the face. It was super the other, irresponsible. I don't blame the dog. The other night I was coming in here. Um, I used a couple of weeks ago to record, and a dog stepped out oh, in yeah. front of me in the rain. And a I husky? had the whole little, it was a husky. Had my whole uh, new truck with the, the new turd with its precision yeah, yeah, yeah. or anti collision or whatever, pre collision system. I didn't even, the truck did it all by itself. The truck stopped. I mean, I obviously, as soon as it started to go and I saw the dog, but that truck started to stop before I did. Save that little dog's life. I need a new truck. So go turn. Save dog's lives. Saving dog's lives one at a time. Okay, Joey, what would you do? Man, I'm so sidetracked right now. Yeah. That's um, what we do. Actually, when I was young, I got attacked by a dog on my bike. Ah. So I'm very terrified of dogs on bikes. Um, they can mess you up. Yeah, it, 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 mentally. Um, yeah, I got to take him to the hospital for that. Um, on our second bike ride, a little white dog ran. I almost ran it, over a dog. Oh my god! It was on oh. our second bike ride together it was, ever. It was in St. Michael's. But yeah, it was probably some old uh, retired Capitol Hiller who owned me for life if I killed this dog. <laughs> um, for real, he was outside. He saw him like, oh, you'd here live, goes. You live on date with this woman. <laughs> live under the stairs. <laughs> yeah, a little Dobby. Oh, he gave me a sock. Um, I'm free. I don't know. I always have that story of that time I was in Jersey riding a gravel trail and I barely made it back to her, my in-laws. Oh my God. But I'm also afraid of dogs. 
This one, I don't. This might be one of my harder. Uh, Dog or poop? Pick. Uh, dookie. Yeah. Dookie. Okay. Worst case, I just go. I don't want to get attacked by a dog. Wait, but you wouldn't just go on the bike. You would go in the woods. <laughs> I'd go well, on the, if I had to, I'd go on the bike. bike. They don't poop. Who? Some of them do. Oh, triathletes? But for real, I did see on Brian on uh, when we rode that gravel uh, battle. It was Caledon. Yeah. What are, what are you going to do? No, I've done it before. I've done a back. You got to go. You got to go. And it was. Had to, had to go. You, it, it, you need a probiotic, and so do you. No, I've I've actually Brian is off, my probiotic. I've actually gotten off the lactose now. Good, I, good. Um, I believe that has been a problem for me for yes, a while, I... and now I am <laughs> I am off the milkshakes. <laughs> I had one bad milkshake experience in Man, Florida. <laughs> I wanted the peppermint. I wanted the peppermint uh, milkshake at Chick Fil A today. Yeah, so tough. I had three hours to drive home. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, you're so glad he didn't, right? Which that three turned into six. So. Well, thank you much for, for yeah, joining Jessica. us tonight. Oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate such it. A stranger. Um, Come if back you guys again. want to poll Jess or Wes, I'll have that poll open <laughs> on oh, Friday. Oh, we were going to last uh, <laughs> the last this or that. And Wes doesn't have social media, and I love social media. Not for the fact of, like, I like looking at myself, but for the fact of I love seeing what people are doing and how people ride or how people run or do things like that. So I will get that poll up for you guys. <laughs> what is your Instagram? <laughs> Jess Santora. I did not change it. So at Jess underscore Santora. Okay. Um, and I am off of the riding running season. So now it's Joey's season for bike riding. No, not to circle back, but Elf. didn't you actually ask some folks on your Instagram today? I did, and I did get a question. What did you get? You got questions. Um, the question was actually a really great one because what it talked about is it talked about um, how Joey and I manage our schedules. Um, if I'm training or if Joey's training, how does that look in a day to day basis? Well, Joey um, doesn't train. So yeah, Joey doesn't train. <laughs> um, no, but in all seriousness, when I was training for my marathon, Joey took a lot of hits. Joey didn't ride his bike as much. Joey did a lot of stuff around the house. Joey prepped every meal for me. Um, so Joey did a lot of the side work that, you know, Joey doesn't get the shiny metal. I do. So hats off. Hats off to you, Joey. Thank you. Nice. Um, but now since it's Joey season and Joey's not only training for Croatin, he's working a full-time job and he's going back to school. Um, so it's my job to pick up the slack around the house. Um, to prove to my dad that I'm not a fool. <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, it gets, it gets hard. Saturdays are hard when Joey has to go to work, um, because then we worry about Max. Um, but we try to do muscle stuff over the weekend. Um, and whatever I don't get done over the weekend, Joey does on Mondays. Cool. Um, so it does really help. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah, but the laundry is a bitch. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Laundry is the worst part because oh, when you yeah. have... You wear a lot of clothes. I do. I wear my, my morning lifting clothes. I think I'm on like day clothes. six of this flannel not getting washed. because I don't, don't think my flannel has been washed in months. I don't so wash anyway, so normal people, I go to lifting in the mornings. I get to the gym and I lift and then I shower Me and too. I go to school. And Joey lifted one day. And then I come home and I do my afternoon cardio. So that's three outfits right there. Yeah. Um, so when Joey's training too, it's a lot of laundry. Yeah. I feel it. You know, when you do the two a days, you go through a lot, a lot of, of laundry. Yeah. A lot of a clothes. A lot of clothes. And you always got it in your car. Yep. You've always got towels. Swimming's and... the worst because you have yep. your wet towels and they just yep. stink up the car. So yep. Smell of chlorine. Yeah. So mm -hmm. usually I do all the laundry and then Joey does the vacuuming and the meal preps and I all that I do everything except for laundry. Yeah. You just cool. strap your towel to the back of your truck bed and just let her fly. Yeah. It'll dry. It'll dry. <laughs> the roof of your Subaru. Just let your it flap Subaru. away. My Subaru. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you get anything else or was that it? Did I think you get... that's it. Alonzo okay. had a question. Alonzo asked what I like better, cycling on the road or gravel cycling. Um, most people think that because I do triathlons, the only type of cycling I do is road cycling. Um, but that's actually not true. Um, in my the winter, I do mostly gravel riding or mm. I'm on my trainer. There's usually no road riding um, by myself outside unless we're doing something with the sick group. So. Okay. You know what I'm looking for? And I'm really, I'm thinking about trying to find a really cheap pair of rollers on the marketplace Okay. and legitimately put an epoxy on them and getting small bits of gravel and covering them. Okay. Just for shits and giggles. Joey and to be a tire tester. Well, you remember the Saris, um, yeah. the roller, uh, mm -hmm. the gravel rollers? Yep. I want to make that. GT, I want GTD to blow up uh, social media with actual gravel rollers and actually seeding it in in action. Yeah, and you got to get the Let's rest of the gravel and Let's do it. You you have to get on the rollers though cuz I I Oh, I know how to ride rollers. Never get on pretty rollers. Good Joey had rollers at my old apartment in Easton. I used to ride them a lot. Yeah. 
I think you ruined them once, which is. I used to write them a lot. A lot okay. <laughs> in Joey's world. <laughs> Man, Wes is this gone. Is, I still get bashed. This has been a tough one for you. And then and then the last this or that that we'll leave up to our listeners is Jess or Wes. <laughs> None of us are going to answer that. Wes, we love you. Come home soon, please. Bring Wes home. Bring, bring Wes home. Bring Wes home from the holidays. Anybody, anything else before we wrap it up? Okay, let's no. shut this thing down. Thanks, friends. This Hold pot, on. Do you want, uh, do you want Wes? Who's going to do Wes's section? Um, she doesn't have a printout. She didn't have a it's printout. It's Atlantic gravel oh. travel dirt. I'll show you my computer. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this podcast is listener supported. Throwing us a few dollars every month help keeps the podcast going, and we all really do appreciate the support um, more than you can possibly imagine. We we joke about it um, quite a bit, but it really is helpful. It covers our hosting. It covers all the services that we have to subscribe to, to make this podcast available. Set and up, at the up. same time allows us to um, push the limits of our equipment. So uh, maybe consider joining us on Patreon or PayPal. When you do, you become a part of the show. And I think that's really cool. That's an awesome, awesome thing. So thanks for listening to this week's episode. And our show can be found wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Please take just a minute to like, follow, subscribe on whatever your favorite social place may be now, including YouTube. Um, you could also buy a t-shirt to hashtag get them out of Brian's house. <laughs> and just how can folks find us? So first off, guys, thank you so much. You guys can find us at the website at graveltraveldirt.com. You can also find us on Instagram at MidAtlanticGTD or by phone, which Brian may or may not answer, at 410-231-3850. Excellent. She does it in nice. less. Your interview has gone really well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mid-Atlantic Gravel Travel and Dirt is recorded in historic Solomons, Maryland at Jess and Joey's house. It is their house. Um, during the dark time. That's when we record. The dark, time. The dark, dark time. It took me eight hours to get home from Jersey. Thanks for riding along. Till next time. Do good. Be nice. Go slow. Respect others. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. That was awesome, guys. That was pretty good.